Okay, I've just been filled on this uh, E-mini S&P trade. Um, you can see here that uh, we got filled when the market pulled back to here, uh, which is near the low of this uh, green bar. As you can see, the green bar low right here. Uh, and when the market broke above this um, uh, D cell uh, with good conviction with the um, this green bar, which is a uh, um, level two buying in our software, uh, wanted to get in just as you know if it were to drop down into that level. So we are long. Let me just actually I need to, uh, okay there we go. So we're long from 44.75. So and we've got the four contracts on here. So. Um, now the market's already moved up a fair amount. It has uh, moved up above the 40 area, 44 area, which we uh, thought could act as uh, resistance, and it's moved above that. Um, so that's you know that that's good. That's what we wanted to see. The the next target was at 48. You can see the market hit uh, 48 right on the dot here. So it hit 48 right on the dot. So we're long from 44.75. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to sell half this position at 2, uh, 46.75 right here. Sell them at 2 right there. Um, now the protective sell stop uh, I got to put in place too. Uh, so 44. I'm going to put it down here, just below this other green. Uh, so it's quite a ways down to begin with. I'll I'll probably move it up pretty quickly here. It is starting to bounce for us here, which is good to see. Um, by the way, this is the E-mini S&P. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Trading the E-mini S&P here on uh, Wednesday afternoon, October the 8th. This is post-FOMC uh, minutes being released, and the market's had a, a good move higher um, after having an early sell-off. So, um, you know, it's had a good reaction here. So just uh, try to get on board and, um, uh, you know, uh, see if we can uh, take a little bit out of the market here. So. Um, We've got our, our stop in place. I, I think what I probably should do here, though, is now that the market has, has bounced up to 46 right here, uh, it's a point and a quarter in our favor. Um, I probably should move this stop up a little bit, which I think I'll do. Um, 42.75, that's a, a two-point risk. Okay, here we are. We're getting our, our rally here. So it just hit our two points. Uh, so hopefully we can get filled on this and... Uh, and we'll probably just go ahead and put a break-even stop in on the uh, uh, the other two uh, contracts. So um, anyway, so uh, I think what I'll do is just uh, pause the recording. It looks like we might get filled any moment here. Uh, so yeah, why don't I just go ahead and okay? So we we made our two points on that. Uh, we have. Uh, uh, so I'm going to bring this stop up to break even now. So uh, four contracts and out of the first two at plus two points. Uh, now I have a break even stop in, so sort of free exposure at this point. Now the next target after 48 um, is uh, up there a little bit higher at 49.75. Uh, 49.75, right about in here. By the way, uh, what we're uh, using here is the uh, Day Trade the Market software, uh, DTTM software. Uh, my name is Dave Johnson, and I'm with uh, Day Trade the Market. So uh, I think I will go ahead and uh, exit one of these uh, trades, or yeah, one of these contracts, I should say, just below there. Uh, so I'm going to put it a couple ticks below. I'm going to say 49 and a quarter. Uh, I'll put a sell limit for one of them there. Um, so we are getting some some half decent buying in here. So that's good to see. Uh, see if it can get up to that 49 and change uh, 49.50 area. The next level after that, okay, good. There we just got hit on that. That's good. Um, so the next level is 51.75, which is right about here. So these are the kind of our targets, if you will, um, and. Uh, uh, I need to adjust my stop here down to just uh, one contract, and I'm going to boost it up here just a little bit below, just a tick below this uh, really strong dark green bar that you can see here. I'll just get the, uh, the little arrow tool. Um, this uh, dark green is a level two buying, so that's the sec second strongest buying that we have, um, and uh, these. Uh, 
the lighter greens are the level one buying. So, okay, we just had a blue. That's the level three um, aggression. So that's the strongest type of aggression that we can have in the um, in our software. So level three buying, very very aggressive buying. Uh, looks like the market wants to keep moving here. So um, we've got our stop in uh, 47.25. Uh, from 44.75, so we've locked in two and a half on the uh, on the final contract there, and we'll just uh, go ahead and uh, let that run. I'm not going to put an exit on this final contract. I'm just going to see if you know if the market can continue to run. I'm just going to keep adjusting the sell stop. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, um, this recording on pause and get and uh, I'll pick it up uh, when needed. Okay, you can see here that the market did uh, break through this uh, 51.75 uh, on an aggressive uh, level 2 bar, which is good. Uh, although the low of that has been taken out by a couple of ticks, and it's just come back to the previous um, barrier um, at 49.75 and has found some support. So I think what I will do is uh, this dip that we had right here comes right to the top of what we call a high velocity move. So. I'm going to raise this stop up a little bit here. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of ticks below that at 48.75, uh, so that'll lock in uh, another uh, uh, four points here. I, uh, by the way, here's our email if you want to contact us, and here's just a little synopsis of how we're doing on this trade at, at up to uh, before I started uh, the uh, the recording back up again. Anyway, I'll pause this now and pick it up shortly. Okay, just bringing you up to date on this trade. Uh, it is continuing to move higher, which is nice. I have adjusted the stop. We've just had another um, buying high velocity move, as you can see here. I uh, placed my stop just uh, about midway in it, uh, just at the bottom of the uh, lowest um, level uh, to buying uh, this first uh, dark green bar right here. So um, the um, uh, Really, the next level we're looking at is is as far as way 62, which is quite a ways still. So, we we just have the trailing stop in place. I've updated the synopsis here of the results of this trade, and, and uh, if you want to contact us, our our emails right there. So, I'm going to go ahead once again and put on pause and pick it up when needed. Okay, just wanted to uh, bring up to date here. We just got stopped out on that uh, last position there, the last contract. So I did a synopsis over here uh, with 750, uh, seven and a half points in the final, uh, five and a half on one contract, and uh, f two points on two of them for a total of four on, on that uh, first half of the position. Anyway, a nice trade, 17 points, and that's at $50 a point. Any questions or comments, you can reach us at info at Day Trade the Markets. Um, so. Thanks for watching and um, hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now.